Hey, what do do, Metro Sports? <laughs> Varsity material, me, basketball. Boy, see you keep your hand season. down so I can finish the damn break. <laughs> Quick cussing, I'm trying to I'm sorry. make it on Metro that Sports. That's a bleep for TV. <laughs> but, um, You're not even recording, stupid. Yes, he is. Yeah, I can see the red is. dot. It's on. What do do, Metro Sports? <laughs> it's your boy, Delshawn. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a future sports broadcaster, so remember my name, Helena Davis, right here. <laughs> See, if you get to me, I'm putting, I'm just kidding. Check y'all real quick for y'all going in. You probably want to give it to me. <laughs> Look Behave yourself, get, man. No, no, no. no. We just can't keep him awake in class. You always got to. Because I had to work last night. Look. Go ahead, man. I had to work last night. And I'm sleeping. You all right, don't you got to move it? You good? All right, man. Mr. Boxer, man. <laughs> what you been up to, man? Boy, that's changed. Yeah, I don't, I don't pat the girls. I ain't catching the lawsuit. First time I seen somebody get shot, I was 10 years old. I was in the park. They were playing basketball. Somebody made a bad call or something. Dude went to his car, got his gun, shot at him. Then he left. I was 10 years old. Somebody came around the corner, hey, little cats, let me get y'all clothes. Gun in my face. Like, like what you gonna do? A little dude, dude asked for his clothes. And so basically, me and my friend, like, come on, cuz, you know what I'm saying? We ain't, man, we just trying to go home, dog. We, man, we got to go. He like, yeah, man, you need to give us your clothes. I feel like. <laughs> it can't, but if it do, I'll just go ahead and what we call thug our way through it. <laughs> go ahead and make it through. I'm a survivor, I'll get it. Yeah, I've been here all my life, me and my brother. Been here all our lives. Quiet neighborhood, I mean, have a little, little razzle dazzle, a little shooting sometimes, but hey. Your typical neighborhood. Yep. 
I know you have your fights here and there and everything, but it's home. It ain't nothing better than home. Yep. I feel safe here. Been here all my life. Let's really go after it. I'm talking about everything. If we hard, just keep on getting up. You know, nobody cussing coaches out, wanting to fight coaches, talking about they gonna crack them today, okay? Cause uh, we not having none of that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just playing. But uh, let's let's have a good workout. Five, six, seven, good job. Nine, ten. Come on, get your get your ten. Two. Come on. Four, good job. Come on. Three. Can, four, you, can you feel it? Yeah. Chest pad. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. We almost done as soon as we get this over with. Tonisha. Come on. Come on, keep going, Tonisha. Don't quit. Don't quit. Come on. Come on. You got two more. Come on. One more. You got one more. You, you better get it. Or we running. She better come up. Good job. Everybody, good job. Help her up, y'all. Go as many as you can. Look at them muscles. That's the athlete right there. You see her? I'm telling you, let's go. Chill on, y'all. Chill on. Let's go, Brittany. Hey, Brittany. That's big time, Brittany. Get one more, Brittany. Get one more, Brittany. Get one more. Hey, get him. Go, go. You gotta get five. Yeah, you gotta get five. Hey, don't be jumping off of this. Don't jump off of this and um, acting like that's one. That's not one. You start with the hang. I know all the tricks. Go. Go, Trey. If you say you can't, that's like five of them off already. Because your mind is not prepared. Let's go. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, there you go. You come can do it. Guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got it. Come on. One. Honey, I'm going to hold your feet. Hey, hey. Hey. Let's go. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> what's that girl's name that uh, work up there with you? Geneva. Yeah, Leva. She got a daughter. Geneva. She got a daughter. Yeah, daddy, she cool to the mug. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, she's real cool. Mm -hmm. She real, real cool. Them grapes is old. They are. Yeah. Our old. We some meat. I, I thought we had some bread, but we probably have some. It's in the freezer. I'm gonna get some cottage cheese. Oh, just cottage cheese and peaches. That's nasty. You don't like cottage cheese? No. I don't like. I'll be back. Where you going, Daddy? Okay, bye, bye, Daddy. Uh, you closer to your dad or? Um, kinda. Kinda? Yeah. Not, yeah, kinda. I really, I'm close to my uh, brothers and sisters. Yeah. I'm really close to my brothers and sisters and my grandma and my mom. It's cool too. But, mm, not really. He, uh, he's, he pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm real, I'm close with the people I, my, um, you know, I love my dad because, you know, yeah. Get some. And actually, this is where football started for me, too. In the basement, me and my brother playing football down here in the basement, bouncing against the walls, getting in trouble. But hey, that's where we first learned. And that's where I'm at every, try to come every morning. My weight. My weight machine, but right now look, I used to be using for a clothes rack. And there's all the guitars and the 
different stuff that I was telling you about. The guitars and the, got look, three basses, guitars, my daddy's amps, even my saxophone around. Put my saxophone right there. It's different stuff. Oh, goodness. That's a close-up for real. Yeah, we like them. Look at it. Leave it alone, Asha. Leave it alone. You're trying to see where to hold on to and everything. You like that? You better leave You like that picture? To what? What's up, Kimmy? What's all this about, Kimmy? I'm nervous. Leave it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Collars all turned up, straighten her out. You probably don't have time for that. Oh, <laughs> that's that's that. That's the whole. You done? You done? Ain't nothing in there. No, it's not. No, it's not. Just growing up, you know, people always, you know, promising you things, and I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do that. That's something, you know, like, I, I couldn't stand it, you know. Like, you know, one time, you know, you got somebody saying, yeah, I'm going to come get you, and, you know, we're gonna, I'm going to take you out here, and then somebody not show up. You know, when you little, when you little, you know, you're a kid, you're looking forward to that, you know, you went up and put your clothes on, you know, you're telling your friends, you're going here, you're going there, or something, and then your pops not come through, or, you know, your mama don't come get you, or something like that, you know, stuff like that, man. It, it hurt when you were a kid, but man, all that did for me is build tough skin, man. Cause that's why I don't, a lot of stuff don't phase me no more, you know. Like, I think the only thing that really got to me, for real, like in the last five or so years since I've been in high school, was my granny passing and my uh, grandpa passing. It was probably the two hardest things for me. Cause my grandpa, man, he was, that was my grandpa, man. He was there, man. Anytime you needed something. Call grandpa, you know, and he had cancer. So, you know, for him to, you know, be sick, like one time he's sick, chemo throwing up. I called him, hey, grandpa, what you doing? Nothing. He coughing and all this on the phone. And he, what you need? I said, man, I need a ride. I got to get to practice. And my grandpa, you know, he's sick. Oh, I'm not feeling well. I said, all right, it's cool. I'm, you know, I'm about to get the bus. It's cool, cause you know I know he's sick. I ain't trying to have him out. You know, I'm walking down the street here. He come rolling up to take me to practice. You know, stuff like that. That's probably the hardest thing to hit me. You know, certain things you know just get to you, and that's one thing that probably got to me. You know, my grandpa passing. <laughs> for real, he ain't got nothing. He ain't got no oh, embarrassing man. moments for I'm real. Thinking, I'm, I'm thinking of one, but I can't say it. I think he's the one with the less embarrassing moments. I gotta give him that. He don't really got any embarrassing yeah, moments. Yeah, really don't. Now to think about it. <laughs> I can say one by hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't think of one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, oh no, nah, I can't. What? Nah, that's too. Say. Nah, that's too might, embarrassing. Might as well say. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's too embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. I go for it. <laughs> I'm, I've stopped recording. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> the Lexus story. <laughs> uh, <laughs> chill out, boy. All yeah, right. See. Talk, <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you're pretty tight with your mom. Yep. Tell just about everything. How proud do you think she is of you? Um, I, I, I know she real proud. Yesterday she's keeping herself back from crying, but I don't know really? what she was going to be crying over. What was, she, what was she saying? She was just like, I told you you could do it. I told you you could do it. And she was just like, I'm so proud of you. I knew you could do it. I told you you could do it. I was like, oh, okay, mommy. Last school year, we were at basketball practice, and on Wednesdays, for a little background, we got half days. Uh, the kids leave at 11.20, go home, and then we don't have practice until 2.30, so they've got to find a way back to school. It's horrible, and I wish it didn't happen, and I wish it was a better situation. We've tried to remedy that now. 
But so the kids would leave and we were in meetings, so I was inside this meeting the entire time and they were expected to come back at 2.30. Well, I came out of my meeting at two o'clock and an, I, and an unexpected ice storm had hit. And a lot of the kids had called and left messages, you know, they couldn't make it, things like that, and I understood. I uh, went down to the gym and a few kids' parents had brought them in, and so we were trying to practice and do what we could with those amount of kids. And I turned to the gym door and Aisha Kabeen walks in the door, covered head to toe in ice. She's soaked. I said, Aisha, what, what are you doing? What happened? She said, well, I knew I had to get back to practice. She said, I didn't have a ride. So she walked over 30 blocks back to basketball practice just so she wouldn't miss it. And, and, and I couldn't believe it. I mean, she wasn't even eligible. She wasn't going to play in the game the next game. Her, her, she hadn't got her academics up yet. They were coming back up, but they weren't there yet. And she had walked over 30 blocks in an ice storm to make it. I mean, that's what it meant to her. That's who Aisha is. That's the heart that she has. And I, I didn't have it when I was that age. I would've been home watching TV or taking a nap or doing something, but Aisha was there. She's very smart, but she, uh, I don't know, uh, she follows her friends a little bit. <laughs> Because I wanted her, I know she's very smart. She don't have to study a lot. She can, you know, she does not have to study and still she's able to pass those tests and everything. But she did, she said, smart people don't have no friends. <laughs> so, Mama, how long ago was that? Yes, that's what she said. <laughs> and I'm then like, when she found out how school. bad it was for her, then it, that's when she started getting down to business. Yeah. And, um, uh, then she had to work, really work for that. Because before she didn't have to work, but then she had to work. But when I got, when I was sick, I, I'm sick now, you know, when I started to lose my eyesight and everything, Aisha took care of all my bills. She paid my bills and uh, she took and bought my groceries. She did everything for me. So I had to give my house up and that's why I moved to Atlanta because I had to let her be a kid and, and, and not be a grown person, you understand? What keeps you going? <laughs> huh? What keeps you going? I don't know. Is it fun? If it wasn't fun, I wouldn't do it. Well, I understand that. As long as you enjoy it, you keep doing it. Whenever we want it more than the kids want it, then that's the time to get out. As long as the kids want it, as much as we do, then... But you have to find the right way to do that. Yeah. If it ever gets to the point where I want it more than they want it, I'm out. Time to retire. Again. Don't cry, because you're going to make me cry. And wherever you go.